our previous class, we had seen how to fetch the records with the help of ATP connection, which we have made use over here, in which we have made use of the perform action on the table operation while configuring the connection. Now, what if we want to use the SQL query and not use the wizard for this purpose? If you get such question, then we will show you how to do that. First of all, we have to go to this edit. And in the operation, we have to select this run an SQL statement. So, you can run any kind of SQL statement provided your schema and the username what you are using should have the access to perform that function. I will tell select star from. So, we can give select star from as well. But it's always a good practice to explicitly mention the column names. I'm writing employee ID. I'm giving the name and the salary over here in the query. Once done, click on this validate SQL query. So Oracle integration will validate the syntax. Once done, click on next and click on done over here. Click on update the configuration. So the mapper will go off usually when we modify or edit the connection. Click on this mapper, add the mapper back. A mapper is of no significance here because our SQL query is not configured in order to get the query parameters or pass the query parameter as a bind variable in SQL. So we are not seeing any variables over here. We don't have any bind parameters for our SQL query. So in the mapper, let's see what has changed over here. Let me expand this. Names of the elements are changed, so need to remap over here. Let me just delete the target node itself. Let me remap, let array to array, employee ID to employee ID or the number, name to name and salary to salary. Done, validate. Let me just go back. I will pause this class. So until then, I will activate this integration and will resume this class from testing page. I am here in the testing page for this demo select records integration. As we had already modified our previously created integration in this class, that is our previous integration was using this employee number query parameter. So in this use case, it's of no significance for us. So I will put this empty and click on run. So when we run, we had written the SQL query to fetch all the records, that is select all the column names from the table name. So in our table, we are having three employees currently, that is one, two, three. So it has fetched all the details. Suppose if you want to modify the query with where condition and conditions and so forth things, you can do like how we had seen in our previous class similar like that in the SQL query also we give straight away the SQL statement. Just make sure when we write the bind parameters, we have to mention hash instead of colon. So in SQL developer, it's colon in integration, we have to use hash else your integration will fail. 